welcome back to my channel or if this is your first time here thanks so much for stopping by um, for today's video I have for you the new ColourPop High Tide palette so if that sounds interesting to you and you want to see how I got this look then why don't we go ahead and get started going to go ahead and get started by um, priming my eyes with my Ulta Matte Eye Primer. Okay, so now that we have that all set, let's go ahead and take a look at this beautiful palette. Um, this is, of course, the unit carton. Um, and the outer packaging looks just like the unit carton. Alright, so this is what the palette looks like. It does not have a mirror. But that is what, what we're looking at. There are no glitters. Um, I'm not sure if there are any super shocks. I don't think so. And then we'll quickly swatch this palette real quick and we can see what these are all about. And then we will get started on our eye look. Okay, we're starting with the first one. It's a matte with glitter in it. It's called Just a Splash. Uh, that's what it looks like. I don't know if you can see the glitter in there or not. Maybe a little bit. Okay. So Just a Splash right there. It's a very light shade, but I think you can see the glitter a little bit. Next one is Currents. Very pretty. Beautiful. Kind of a... Um, what would I call that? It's like a mix between a mint and a teal. I don't know. It's beautiful. Whatever it is. Very pretty. Next is Free Floatin'. There you go. So there's Free Floatin'. Oh, that's very metallic, isn't it? Okay, next up is Urchin. Oh, that's pretty. There you go. Do bear in mind though that even though there aren't any eye safety warnings, blues sometimes can stain the eyes. Um, doesn't bother me any because I use the eye primer that covers up discoloration and all that stuff anyway, so. But just an FYI. Alright, next one is um, Must C. And C is spelled S-E-A. That is pretty. Hold on, I don't think you're getting the full color. There you go. That's Must C. Then we have Flora. There's Flora right there. That is, there we go. Like when I'm zoomed in, it seems to not be picking it up true to color. So I'll come back here. There we go. I guess being too close to the ring light seems to be washing it out. I'm still working on my camera settings. There we go. There is Flora. Okay. And then next up is Muscle Beach. A muscle is spelled M-U-S-S-E-L. And that is that one. Sorry, I'm not trying to flip y'all off. For some reason I skipped it, but that is the shade right there that we're swatching. So that's kind of a blackened teal, but very pretty. I think it's trying to be a duochrome. Yeah, I think it's a duochrome, but it definitely has like a deep base. Okay, next up is New Wave. And there is New Wave right there on my pinky. Okay. Get a little bit more of that. Just so I can make sure that you guys can see it. So there you go. Very pretty. And then last but not least is Lunar. There's Lunar right there. Pull back a little bit. There you go, yeah. So you can see how dark it really is. Look at that. That is really deep. It's a really, really deep teal. That is gorgeous. So there you go. There's our color story. Um, 
So now let's put this on the eye. Alrighty, I am back and I am praying that I didn't make a mistake by doing my complexion first because blue fallout is like the worst to clean off. <laughs> and there was a little bit of kick up in some of the pans when I was swatching them. So uh, we'll just have to see how this goes. Wish me luck. I'll make sure to tap off my brush really well. Um, but yeah, I really don't want Really don't want to fall out if I can help it. Alrighty, we're going to start off in the crease with this shade right here, just a splash. It's a, pull it back, it's a matte with a, with a glitter in it. And I'm just going to run that through my crease. For that, I'm going to use a Morphe X Jeffree Star, I think it's a JS8 maybe. Anyways, um, just a nice blending brush. Yep, getting quite a bit of kick up in the pan. See that powder? Yeah. So be sure to top off your brush. Okay, we'll just blend this in. Yeah, that is a very light shade. But, I mean, it has decent pigmentation for being a pastel. All right, I feel like I'm pretty even there. So the next shade we're going to dip into is this gorgeous shade called Currents right here in the middle. That one right there. There. <laughs> oh, that one's gorgeous. All right, I'm going to use a little bit smaller brush for this, something a little bit more tapered for that. I'm going to use a Lexi uh, Small Taper Blending Brush, number 231. That's what that looks like. Okay, we're dipping into currents. Lots of kick up here too. That is gorgeous. It's like a like I said, kind of a greenish teal shade. Just kind of dabbing it first and then I'll blend it. One to try to avoid fallout, two to build up the pigmentation since uh, my eyes are a little more mature. Okay, now we're gonna blend a little bit. And if you're hearing that, I apologize. I think my neighbor might be doing their yard. Kind of unavoidable this time of year though. Okay, looking good. All right, uh, we're gonna dip into a uh, new wave right here and I'm gonna put that in the crease and uh, my outer corner. And for that, I'm gonna use an even smaller brush if I can find a mini one. Here we go, Nabla um, and 205. Okay, dipping into a uh, new wave. Tapping it off. I'm gonna start on the outer corner first. That way we can get it nice and built up the way we want it, and then we'll bring it through the crease. Okay, now I'm going to start bringing this up into my crease. Now that I have a little bit of it built up, and with this shade I'm kind of packing and then blending to try to avoid fallout. I think so far I've done pretty well to avoid fallout, so I'd like it to keep it that way. Okay, there we go. All right, just to go and use some more shadows. Let's use Urchin right here. This really, really deep shade. And I'm gonna be very careful with it. I just, I mean like very ever so slightly want to build up the outer V just to give it a little bit more depth because of the, um, because of the, 
Sorry, I can't use words today, apparently. Sorry, first video of the day. But the uh, shimmer, that's the word I'm looking for, that I want to put down on the lid is a little, it's like really close to what I have in my crease and all that stuff, so I want to um, deepen up the outer edges to make it, you know, flow better. And by the way, this um, shade is uber powdery. I don't know if it's just softly pressed or whatever, but it blends well. So no complaints there. Just be very careful and really tap off your brush so that you don't have a lot of fallout, especially with this shade. Okay. There's a liner on that side. Let's do it on this side. Okay, perfect. Now I'm going to use the um, original brush that I went in with with that, that lightest shade and I'm going to dip into that lightest shade and just kind of blend around the edges of my eye. just to kind of make sure I don't have any harsh, harsh edges. Let's go on with this look, see, and finish the blend in the middle. Sometimes you just kind of have to switch up the brushes a little bit to get the blend that you need, so to kind of play around. There we go. That's the blend that I needed um, right there. All right, so the shade I want to go in with is called Must See, spelled S-E-A. It's this shade right here. So we're going to go into that shade right there and put that all over the lid because it's beautiful. Um, I will definitely be spraying it because, again, I do not want fallout. And I just spray my brushes just spray my brush with water. I don't use any kind of like setting spray or any magic solution. It's just water. Mm. That is a beautiful shade. I just want to make sure that I really build it up so you guys can really see how metallic it is. Okay, there we go. So there we are with the upper lids done. Uh, so we'll do the lower lid in just a second. Okay, sorry about that. I had to step away for a few minutes. Um, I am looking, hold on, let me get my up close and personal mirror that has light. And I don't really seem to have a lot of fallout, so that's good. Um, I did go a little out farther, so I'll probably just smoke it out underneath here. I don't really want to mess with concealer if I could help it. So let's grab a like a pencil type brush. Got a Morphe X Jaclyn Hill JH39 right here. For that, I'm going to dip into Lunar, which was that deepest shade right here. I'm going to dip into that and bring that down on my lower lash line as close to the lower lash line as possible. Mostly I just want to match it to what I have on my outer corners so I'm not, I may not even bring this all the way in. Really, I'm just trying to, yeah, there we go, balance out the lower lash line with the outer corner. I think that looks a little bit better. That's where I'm going to stop with the dark shade. I don't want to go all the way in. And again, I'm literally tapping this on, not so much blending it on because it's, I, I don't want it all over my cheeks. I think I got some fallout. Yep, I did. I got fallout under both eyes. Okay, so yeah, I literally just took this to about the middle of my eye, to about where my iris is. Um, 
Let's we'll see if I can wipe off the uh, fallout that I just got. We got most of it. There's still a little bit there. Not too bad though. Okay. Uh, next we're going to use the same brush and I'm going to dip into, into Urchin right here and do that the rest of the way. Urchin right here. Do that the rest of the way. Um, kind of connect it to that deep shade which is called Lunar and bring it to um, the inner corner of my eye. Oh, and in addition um, to, you know, yard work that you may be hearing, um, the main road runs behind us. Uh, the main road to go out of the neighborhood um, and they are turning it into a two lane with a turn lane so they're expanding it in other words um, and so if you hear heavy machinery things beeping and backing up and all that that's why because there's construction literally right there behind my house just right there it sucks i was going to be there for a while all right uh let's do an inner corner highlight for that let's use free floating right there Let me use that shade it's nice and bright um and to put that on Okay, I'm going to use a Luxie 111 mini flat angled brush um, to use that shade free float and I am going to spray it because I don't want any fall. Ooh, that's pretty. Very, very pretty. Bring that down on the lower lash line just a little bit. Brighten up that eye. Kind of wrap it around. Wow, that's pretty. So, I think once upon a time ago I said I wasn't really into blue looks. I never did blue looks. I was always intimidated. <laughs> but I think since I've started my channel, I've done several and I am quite pleased with how they turn out. Of course, this is more of a teal than a blue, um, which I think kind of brings out my eyes a little bit. So definitely like the, the teals and the turquoise shades. Okay, well, I think all that's left is to hop off camera and do my lashes and pick out a lip and come back and uh, talk to you guys about this palette. Be right back with you. All right, I am back. I have my um, lashes on. Um, while I was off camera, I did go ahead and add to my um, my my lower waterline. I added this LA Girl Shockwave Metallic Eyeliner in the shade Ocean right here. So well, you can see that. I think it just kind of amped it up just a teensy bit down at the bottom um, and then from there I used my Maybelline the Falsies Lash Lift Mascara um, on both my top and bottom lashes um, this one's almost done um, and then I applied my lashes I adhered them with the um, Kiss uh, what's it called lash glue liner in black um, I apologize, I do not know what the eyelashes are. They were just in my little storage container and I didn't have them labeled or anything. Um, going forward, I'm going to try to label anything I put in my last storage container <laughs> so that I'll be able to tell y'all. Um, but with these, I'm not entirely sure. My guess is that they might be pure 
lashes, but I'm not 100% sure about that. Um, like pure diva lashes, but I'm not 100% sure about that. So I'm just going to say I don't know. I apologize. Sorry. Uh, they are very pretty. Um, all right. Oh, and then my lips. I used Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Baroque. Right here. No. There we go. So, and um, FYI, Ofra has had a ton of their lip shades on sale. This may have been one of them for like five and seven dollars. I was very tempted to go in and buy a whole bunch of different ones, um, you know, that I may not have, but I've got so many liquid lipsticks. So I restrained myself. I held myself back and I didn't. But FYI, if you're looking for some good, really comfortable, really good quality, long lasting um, lipsticks, these. I wear these under a mask all the time. I might get just a teensy, teensy bit of transfer, um, like when I'm drinking water. And if I'm wearing a mask for a really long time, I might get a teensy bit of transfer, but hardly any for the most part these are transfer proof um, and super super comfortable so if you are looking for a long lasting you know liquid lipstick a matte liquid lipstick then I definitely recommend Ofra yeah. all right so what do and I apologize if you hear my birdie in the background he's just a little bitty parakeet but he likes to chirp he likes to sing so um and you're hearing him through like four or five bit rooms so there you go I can't really help it um all right so what do I think of this high tide um eyeshadow palette I think this eyeshadow palette is gorgeous um and like I was mentioning during the video I used to always say um blue eye looks intimidate me and I'm not big on blue eye looks but I think I might be changing my tune <laughs> Um, especially with these tones. I really like the like turquoise teal tones. Um, I just I just think this look is gorgeous um, and it reminds me of the beach and unfortunately I didn't get to go to the beach. I was sick and had to cancel my um, whatchamacallit my vacation. Not to say that I'm not going to take one. I still plan on taking one if I can get my stomach well enough but I just figured having a little bit of um, beachy pretty colors on my eyes would would be good today so um let's see this one was fine it had great pigmentation of course the glitter disappeared as soon as i put it on my lid this one had awesome pigmentation um this one is gorgeous that's what i used on my inner um my inner corner for the brightness this one you guys saw that on my outer corner and in the crease urchin super dark um this is what is all over my eyelid right now uh did i use flora i don't think i used flora i did not use flora i did not use muscle beach um but i think i used new wave yes i did use new wave and that performed very well and then Lunar really surprised me. It performed very well for as deep and dark as that shade is. Wow. I think there were only two out of the nine shades that I didn't use. So I think I can speak intelligently to this palette aside from the fact that I know the color pop formula I like the back of my hand now um, because I pretty much buy all their palettes. Um, <laughs> I would say that I highly recommend this palette. Highly. I mean, these blues blended with no problem whatsoever. Just um, make sure to tap your brush off really well. Or better yet, do your face first. I mean, do your eyes first. Um, that way you can be as messy with this palette as you want to be because it wants to be messy. All of the mattes are pretty powdery. Um... The shimmers um, weren't flaky, so that's good. I will give you that. Um, but all of the mattes are definitely powdery, like the majority of the palettes that I've reviewed from ColourPop lately. So again, tap off your brush really well or do your eyes first and you are good to go. But I highly recommend this. This, oh, by the way, this as of right now is an Ulta exclusive. 
Um, and it's $14. I do not know if it will be coming to ColourPop. Um, they released this and two other ones around the same time on at Ulta. And the only one that I've seen that's now available on ColourPop's website is the Lust for Dusk palette. I have not seen this one and I've not seen the other 9pin which is called like Fine Feathered or something like that which I have that one as well so I'll be doing a review on that one as well. So I would say snatch it up if you're interested because this may not come to ColourPop. I don't know if it will or not. Um, wait, where's the box? They claim if there's a skew that it might. Uh, there is a skew on the bottom. So, oh wait, never mind. That's wrong. Let me reverse it. That's if it's going to come to Ulta. Do, do, do. Never mind. I'll delete that whole part out. Um, so yeah, I don't know if this is going to come to ColourPop or if it's going to stay in Ulta exclusive. And if it stays in Ulta exclusive, it'll be going away very quickly. So I would definitely jump on it, um, uh, especially since they've already moved the Lust for Dusk over there, but I haven't seen the High Tide or the Fine Feathered. I think Fine Feathered is what the other one's called. Anywho, so there you go. I'm very happy with the palette. Highly recommend it. So with all that being said, I want to say thank you so much for watching. I hope that you will consider hitting that subscribe button and ringing that notification bell so that you'll be notified of all of my future content. I have lots of content coming up. I have tons of palettes that I'll be reviewing. I have um, some tips and tricks videos coming up. I have giveaways. So I would hate for you to miss out on any of that. So please definitely subscribe and ring that notification bell so you don't miss any of that content. And again, thank you so much for watching. I hope that wherever you are in this world, you are staying safe and you are staying healthy. And I look forward to talking to you again soon. Bye.